New right now at five o'clock, teachers breaking down lessons they learned during the pandemic. Tonight we delve into how much the pandemic costs students when it comes to learning. Here's Channel 3's Wendell Edwards. We spoke to our panel of educators on our back patio here at Channel 3. Stephanie Wanzer teaches special ed at Cooperative Education Services in Trumbull. Mark Janik is a math teacher at Southfield High School. And John Gerger teaches family and consumer sciences to middle schoolers at Wallingford. Throughout this entire pandemic, when it came to teaching, they tell me distractions were constant. How much did your kids learn? Or the biggest thing, how much were you not able to get to? And we got. Through the, through the curriculum. We took some stuff out. Uh, a lot of class had to take some stuff out that was, like she said, the hands-on. We didn't get to the projects. It was really tough to get through all the material that I wanted to get through. It looks like learning was not the top priority. Not really, no. There were times where I would do like a, a Google Meet with my students and I, I'm crazy. So I would come on with like music and I'd be dancing and I would like try to start something and I would I would get distracted and be like, is that your dog? <laughs> and then they'd be like, yeah, that's my dog. So then next you know, all the kids like disappeared and they all brought their pets on. All is not lost. The teachers tell me students are still eager to learn. I have so to take some stuff out to There make is sure. going to be a learning gap for pretty much across the nation for this year. There is. And we're going to have to find ways again next year to start off with a beginning unit, a bridge unit to make sure that those gaps get filled. Learning is only successful if you understand fully, they say, what some students went through. Parents might have lost a job. So living through that and, and helping them live through it um, and assisting their parents with remote when it was um, and have, getting them back in was the most important thing. Our conversations about lessons learned in the pandemic concludes coming up tonight at 6. Find out what was the biggest lesson these teachers learned and what parents should be focusing on this summer. Again, that's tonight at 6. Wendell Edwards, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.